Hey, Rick's Barber here. I've been playing with uh, trying to do what's called inertial welding on my lathe. And uh, although I couldn't make it work, at least not so far, I've uh, discovered another trick, probably very old, uh, but uh, new to me. Let's say I have a piece, I have here a piece of uh, mild steel and I would like to make the end of it larger and have a nice finished look to it. So first thing I'm going to do is face the end of it. So now, now I have a nice flat end. Next thing I'm going to do is spot drill it so I end up with a conic hole in the end. And I fed in until I've gotten a nice sharp edge on the end. And the final step is I have here just an old broken uh, end mill, about 3 eighths, and I'm going to chuck that up in my tailstock. And I'm running the lathe as fast as it can go here. And what I'm going to do is feed in this piece of drill rod into my stock, and <clears throat> because it's got that conic hole in it, I'm going to concentrate a great deal of heat in a very narrow area and as it heats up it's going to melt back and it's going to continue until finally that conic hole is gone and all that material has been reformed into a disc. It's going to make a bit of noise but it goes pretty fast. <laughs> It's kind of toasty right now, so I'm not going to pick it up with my fingers. But you can see here I've got a close fitting rod here. You can see it makes a nice stop and it's got a nice clean finish. Now there is a little dimple on the end, so I needed to, I should have gone a little further, but you get the idea. So without adding any material, I'm not turning down the rod, I'm just upsetting the end. And although I could do this by heating it up and hitting it with a hammer, I wouldn't get nearly the nice concentric lip that I get with this process. So uh, you just never know where you're gonna end up as you're trying to find some one thing, you might find another. So this just gets dumped into my ever-growing pile of bag of tricks, and, and maybe you'll find it useful too. Well, that's all for now.